what's up. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Bro, you're so fucking awkward. Yeah, you're dumb. <laughs> Today. All right, we just finished our back workout, and then we got here earlier than usual because this guy has a dentist appointment. At 12. And we decided to come at 9 today, which we usually come like at 10, 10 30. And fuck, I woke up so early. I was so tired this morning. I woke up at 5 and I couldn't go back to sleep. So, so I just stayed up basically the whole time. But took some ESP. It's pretty good after. Yes, sir. I got some too. Yeah, but did you take some today? No, I didn't take uh... Yeah, so I was pretty tired. But we just finished our back and bite workout. And we're kind of on a tight schedule because today we're going to Hermit Falls. And if you guys don't know what Hermit Falls is, it's a hiking trail. This magical hiking trail with <laughs> fucking 50 foot waterfalls and a 50 foot cliff jump. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how high it is, but. Yeah, no, it's pretty high though. No, I think it is around 50 feet. There's like two there's of them two. though. One uh, was 25 feet and then the other one's 50. Okay. Yeah. But. Well, this guy doesn't want to do the 50 foot one. Well, yeah, because I don't know how to float. <laughs> like, I'm looking scared, but like, I'm down to do it. All right. So, basically, there's a 50 foot one and a 25 foot one. But the 50 foot one, it's a long way down. And you know what that means? A long way down means a long way up. So, <laughs> I don't want to waste time just going back down once and then taking a long time to get back up. Yeah. So, we're just going to do the 25 foot one today, so you go up and down quick. And we get the oh, we're going to do it multiple times? Yeah, do it, get the most out of it. Yeah, I'm done. So that way you get more jumps. And then I'm going to record there. And while this guy's at the dentist appointment, I'm going to be charging on my like camera, my fucking drone. And then I'm thinking if I should take the, my Canon. But then <laughs> again, that's a lot of shit to carry. Because oh. the drone has its own case. And yeah. It's pretty big. So I don't want to carry that much thing, so I don't know. But yeah, we're on a tight schedule. We busted this workout in like an hour. It was an hour. For, uh, yeah, we didn't even do deadlifts. Yeah, we just went through it quick. And then we're just gonna go hiking later at one. That's pretty much it. And then at, towards the end of the video, I'll just do like training updates and then why I haven't been squatting or deadlifting at all. All right, that's it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just hug each other and jump. <laughs> hey, push them, push them, push them. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, one, two, three, go. Run, run. Oh. <laughs> Tarzan? <laughs> You're dumb! <laughs> yeah, I think it's super dry. Yeah. <laughs> Explain what happened at Hermit Falls now. Uh, so we went to Hermit Falls, <laughs> right? And we freaking like did a, what was it? 1.5 miles hike yeah. to the waterfall. And we were, we were ready to set up to start recording. Well, we and, did record. Well, we did record for a little bit, but then this guy's SD, like, got wet because, like, I don't know what happened with his little camera right. opener. So, basically, I lost stuff. my GoPro door. Yeah, the door. I meant to and see. I bought a new one off of Amazon because the GoPro ones weren't in stock yet, and I wanted it, like, to get it by the hiking day. So, I bought it off of Amazon, and I used it, shit, and it, like, yeah, it, like, leaked all the way inside my GoPro so Bruh. all my inside like my whole battery and my SD got wet and it still works but the, oh, SD, card, the SD card yeah the oh. SD card just got destroyed and like it just wasn't reading anything Hermit Falls we lost all the footage so yeah we're just here at the pool today <laughs> all right 360 flip turn wait hold on I'll put this in like very good slow-mo <laughs> hey you ready you ready? He, if I drown, you gotta come save me. Alright. Alright, ready? Go. You ready? It's already recording. Alright, as most of you guys already know, I haven't been able to squat or deadlift in quite some time now. But recently, I just started squatting and deadlifting again, but not going heavy. Just keeping it real light, only a plate on each side for both squats and deadlifts. 
And I also switched from high bar squat to low bar squat. That's why the bar is placed a little bit lower on my back. And I'm not really going ATG, just going to a 90 degree knee flexion. Because during ATG, when I explode out of the hole, my back aches a lot for some reason. And for uh, deadlifts, I switched over to sumos instead of conventionals just to kind of load up the weight on my hamstrings and my quads rather than my back. So that way I'm not damaging my back any further. Because I noticed every time I spar a deadlift, like it just makes my back feel worse the next day. Instead of like, it'll, I'll feel good, it'll feel nice, it'll get better. Once I hit a, I try a squat or attempt a deadlift, it just completely starts aching again. The next day it's worse. And that's just been the process for the past few weeks or months. So here I'm doing planks which I've added to my workouts after every workout, every day. I've been doing planks just to strengthen my core, develop a stronger core, and hopefully that helps my back heal stronger. Well, better, not stronger, but yeah, I've been doing this every day. This has pretty much been my routine, but here my hips are way too high. All right, so here my hips are properly placed. It's a good, strong plank. I'm trying to find an angle in the mirror, but yeah. Um, I'm thinking about going to see going to see a chiropractor to see if that works. I don't really know how that works. I don't know if it works. Like I just heard about it, been watching a lot of videos on it, and might as well try because my back's not getting better. So yeah, it's pretty much all my training updates.